Happy holidays everyone! In this video, I will show you how to do a soft golden smoky eye with a red lip today. If you want to see how to do this whole makeup look, keep on watching. Okay, let's get ready to rumble. I start by prepping my lips with the Rose Love Lip Balm. Use a spoolie to comb the brows first. This is the Anastasia Dip Brow in Dark Brown and their angle brush. I pack the pomade onto the back of my hand, then I start outlining my brows. Begin at the bottom of the brows, up to the arch, and down to the ends of my brows. Then fill in the brows from the middle to the ends of the brows. The initial line, push up the product up into the brows, then use the spoolie to blend. I mark where the front of my brow starts, turn my brush sideways, then I softly connect my brows. Don't use a lot of pressure here. Finally, I lightly draw the top of my brows. Almost done with the brows. Grab a little bit more product and add it from the middle to the ends of the brow to make it darker. This part is optional. I like doing this to make it look more ombre. Do the same process to the other brow. If you don't like the shape of this brow, I have another video on how to fill in your brows five different ways. The link would be down below or somewhere on this page. Grab your favorite eye primer and prime the eyes. I'm using the Lorac Eye Primer. Don't forget to run the primer along the bottom lash line. Next, I use the gold eyeshadow base and apply it from the crease to the lash line. If you don't have a gold eyeshadow base, skip this part. For this soft, smoky, golden brown look, I'm using these MAC shadows in the colors Brulee, Lemon Tart, Creative Copper, and Saddle. Use the Lemon Tart and set the gold cream eyeshadow. For the crease, I go in with saddle and I start layering until I get the tone alike. I do circular strokes and windshield wiper motion while applying. Then I go in with some Lorac brown eyeshadows in the colors taupe and sable. Use the taupe first and apply most of the pigment to the outer V of your eye and bring it towards the crease. Of course, I'm using my favorite eyeliners from Essie Lauder in Coffee and Bronze to line my eyes. I apply the coffee on my upper lash line and smudge it out. Then I apply it to a quarter of the bottom lash line. Then I run the bronze on top of the coffee to the halfway point. I follow up with the saddle to blend the eyeliners and pull it towards the tear duct, creating an ombre look. Grab sable in the Lorac palette and tap the color to the outer V. Buff with a large eyeshadow brush. I layer a little bit more saddle to blend the look. Next, take a gold eyeshadow and apply it to the top of the lemon tart to pop out the eyes. Grab a black eyeliner or gel liner to line the upper waterline. This would bring a little bit more dimension to the eyes. Run a Q-tip underneath the eyes to remove the fallouts. Concealer time. Take your favorite concealer and conceal your dark circles. I like this concealer because it doesn't enhance my wrinkles underneath my eyes. I smile a lot and that's when my wrinkles are Freaking bad. <laughs> Blend the eyeshadows into the concealer a little bit so it doesn't have a definite line. Next, I'm using the MAC Honey Lust for the highlighter. I'm blending it into the eyeshadows, apply it to the tear duct, and a little bit to the lower lash line. Use brulee and apply it underneath the brows. To finish off the eyes, apply your favorite mascara. I always use a primer first to make sure it goes on a lot better. You know when you wake up in the morning and you have that funny, 
been on your lashes and you can't get it out and it's hard to put on mascara well lash conditioner helps with that so if you're having that problem then you definitely should try out lash conditioner apply foundation all over the face and bring it down the neckline a little bit I'm using a liquid bronzer to add to this look. Apply it to the shadows of the face. Use your brush and start tapping to blend it out. I add a little bit more to make my skin appear tanner. I grab a flush cream color blush and apply it to the apples of the cheeks. This color is almost like the NARS orgasm, but a little bit lighter. To finish off the face, take your favorite highlighter and apply it to where the sun hits. Finally, lips. Use the best looking red lipstick that you can find that matches your skin tone. Line the lips first so your lipstick doesn't bleed. I fill in the lips a little bit on the outer corners as well. Apply lipstick. Then use a red gloss to complete the look. Now we are done. This look is so fun for the holidays and it's a great excuse to wear red lipstick. That is it for this makeup tutorial. So after filming, I went upstairs and my husband saw this makeup look on me and he was like, what the freak did you do to your face? <laughs> so he absolutely hates me with red lips. I think I pulled it off really well. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Anyways, I do want to see your holiday makeup look. Do hashtag make it win so I can find it. Subscribe if you want to see more from me. And I'll see you next time.